All right, we got to be honest here, friends. We're in the middle of a housing crisis. Maybe you can't afford a place to rent or you just can't find one because of the supply. And city officials say Albuquerque is actually short anywhere from 13,000 to 30,000 housing units. That's the reality. So the city is working on a massive plan to address this huge need here. Brittany Costello joins us. And Brittany, it starts with more housing, right? But then the plan kind of gets more complicated from there. Absolutely, Tessa. The goal right now is for the city and partners to create 5,000 housing units by 2025. But to really address the need for all residents, all income levels, the city says it's going to take more money, commercial conversions, and changes to city zoning. It is a challenge impacting the nation. No different here in Albuquerque. These units are not popping up fast enough to keep up with housing demands. We've all been working hard on this issue, but like a lot of challenges, you know, we're like in a rowboat against a tidal wave. Monday, Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller announced a new plan to address housing needs. It starts with more development, but goes beyond that, taking advantage of existing spaces around the city. We're going to try and convert commercial office space to um, housing. And so we're proposing a $5 million fund to do that. To support 10 conversions of office or hotel motel spaces. We also don't even have a housing workforce to build these houses or convert these units. And so we are going to use our JTA program and work with our building trades to try and train 250 new workers that will be specifically uh, available for housing conversion and rehab. Mayor Keller says it's going to take way more money and resources to get people housed and make sure they stay that way. He says they are ramping up consumer protection, enforcing anti-discrimination laws based on source of income, and cracking down on nuisance properties and looking at other ways the city will need to evolve. Right now, our zoning code will never allow us to meet the housing demand in the city. So I just want to be clear, the status quo will never allow us to eliminate this housing challenge. Pointing to Albuquerque City Councilors as the next step to really get these plans off the ground. We have to open up for our neighbors of all walks of life to be able to live and work here. Again, this is not a quick fix. We asked about those conversions. Right now they have a few hotels they've been talking to, but there are zoning and code issues they will have to address first. Tessa.